Do you guys wanna learn how to create all those cool flashes that you see in all those music videos? Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to do that. Hey yo, what's up guys? It is me Zane back here with another video. Today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different. I did a poll on my media account and a bunch of you guys want to see tutorials for me on how to edit. So I thought, why not start this series and really just go full force with it. So without a further ado guys, we're gonna get right into this tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be using Final Cut Pro to demonstrate how to do all of this. But if you guys do know video editing software, it essentially does correlate and can be easily followed with your editing software of choice. All right, so let's just get on right into it. So right now we're in my editing bay. This is a project I just worked on actually for school. We have our clips lined up here. And as you can see, this is what the effect looks like. That kind of grasps your attention and is really captivating and adds a lot of edge to your video. So of course you're gonna wanna make your cut in between the two clips that you do wanna use. So I'm gonna use right here for an example. So obviously you're gonna wanna cut your two clips in half and then you're just gonna wanna go to the second clip on your timeline. You're gonna wanna select it and then you're gonna wanna go to the color curves tab in your color correction settings. If you guys don't know, and let's say you're here for right now, it is this multiple triangle thing. You're gonna wanna go into your color inspector and hit on where it says no corrections and go down and select the color curves tool. What you're gonna wanna do is add your first keyframe. We're gonna hit here and add our first keyframe. This will be your first keyframe where everything goes white. So what you're gonna wanna do here is grab the top marker and you're gonna wanna slide and drag that all the way to the left. Not all the way entirely. And then from there, with your arrow keys, you're gonna wanna skip over three frames. So one, two, three. Once you've hit your third frame, you're gonna wanna take that exact marker, drag it all the way back. So now your video should look like this. It's a really, really cool thing that you could add. It just takes a couple of seconds too. And a really cool trick that I'm gonna be teaching you guys, which I know probably a lot of you do struggle with, is how to easily replicate this for each clip without having to redo this process every time. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to your titles and generators over here, and then you're just gonna to wanna to search up adjustment layer. Now this doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, unfortunately. This is something I did add on. I don't remember where I got this from, but I will link it in the description down below and all credits do go to him. I'll even pop it up on screen right now. It's a really easy thing you can install. This just helps to, you know, add adjustments to a bunch of different clips without individually pasting the attributes onto each clip. From here, what you're gonna wanna do is essentially restart the process, color curves, put a keyframe, drag it all the way to the left, skip over three frames, one, two, three, and now I have the effect on my adjustment layer. So once you're done with that, you can split it and copy and paste that onto whatever clip you'd like on top of any clip you'd like. And now you're able to apply it to multiple clips without having to redo that process every time. Now, a lot of you might be asking, Zane, why can't you just copy all the attributes from that one clip and then paste it into another clip? Well, the reason is Final Cut Pro, for some reason, has this bug where it doesn't copy over keyframes. So even if I were to try to copy the keyframes from right here and apply it onto this clip, it would not work. See, so if I go here, paste attributes, it wouldn't do anything, unfortunately. So that's how you achieve that effect. It's a really, really cool effect. Only takes a couple of seconds to do too. I know it was a really, really quick and easy tutorial, but honestly, you can do this with really any software of your choice, whether that be CapCut or Sony Vegas or even DaVinci. It's really just adding a keyframe where, you know, you adjust your brightness then skipping over three frames and then dragging down the brightness so that it resets back to the normal brightness. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. If you guys do want to check out all my new content, where I am posting for artists, corporate videos, you know, I'm really just trying to get into this video production field. Please go and head on over down to Zane Burko Media. It will be in the description down below, or you can just look it up on your Instagram. It's right here, but it will be linked in the description. Anyways, let me know what you guys want to see next. If you guys found this video helpful, please comment down below or like this video and share it. Anyways, see you guys next time. Peace. Subscribe to Zane.